Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. On the 6th of July 2021, Microsoft rolled out and released the emergency out-of-band update to address the print nightmare zero-day exploit. And I did post a video reporting that uh, yesterday. And what the zero-day exploit does, it gives the bad guys, the attackers, full remote code execution capabilities on your Windows PC, which basically affects the print spooler service which is a service that runs in the background and is responsible for all the printing and printing jobs on your PC. Now, this is a critical uh, zero-day exploit and has already been exploited in the wild. And Microsoft actually patched older versions of Windows as well, including Windows 7. Now, the update I'm talking about, if we go to Windows Update and our view update history, is KB5004945. Mine was installed yesterday, and I did post a video reporting this yesterday. Now, apparently, the patch is flawed and is not working because um, Microsoft says and reports now that they only fixed the remote code exploit, meaning the flaw could still be used for local privilege escalation. So, um, so over and above that, the bad guys, the hackers, um, soon discovered that the flaw could still be exploited even remotely. So, you know, this, as I mentioned in my first video, I posted a couple of days ago reporting about the Print Nightmare Zero Day exploit. This is mainly affecting enterprise and corporations with big networks and servers and so on. But if you are concerned, and, you know, obviously now that the patch is not going to address this issue, because the, um, the Zero Day exploit can be bypassed this uh, patch, what you can do, as I did post in my first video, and just a quick recap, is you can go to your search and just type in services. And this takes you to the background services that run in Windows. And you just look for print spooler. So we go down to P. And yeah, we go print spooler. And this is the service that is responsible for all the printing and printing jobs on your PC. And this is what the, um, the, the Zero Day exploit, uh, the print nightmare bug, is actually uh, affecting your print spooler. So if you are concerned and, uh, um, you know, um, you might have noticed something you know, awry on your PC or, you know, you're just concerned, what you can do is you can double click on the print spooler service. You can change it from automatic because it runs automatically at startup with your Windows PC because it's responsible for all the printing jobs on your PC. You can just go disabled and then you stop the service from running and you just go apply. Okay, and that you can see the service now print spooler is actually disabled. So that remote code uh, ex ex zero day exploit cannot now uh, run and be activated on your device because you have disabled the means for it to do that. Now, if you just want to hang on and you know you don't want to disable the service because obviously if you disable the service you won't be able to print so if you have do a lot of printing jobs especially in enterprise corporation you know you might not want to disable this because obviously you can't print but next week we have our patch tuesday cumulative updates rolling out and i'm sure that this will be addressed in that patch tuesday update next week uh, tuesday by microsoft if you want to hang in there but if you are you know have legitimate reasons for concern, just disable the print spooler service in your services and that should, um, you know, prevent anything, you know, uh, being exploited on your PC. And then if you want to uh, change it back, you know, to obviously print, what you can do is you just reverse the process. You just double click on it. You go from disabled to automatic. You go apply and then you can just start the service again and your print spooler service will be up and running again. So just wanted to let you know, KB5004945 uh, has been flawed. It is actually not um, preventing the zero-day exploit for the print nightmare zero-day bug, which I reported about yesterday. And you can also, if you, as I mentioned, if you have any concerns, you can just go and uh, disable that print spooler service uh, in your Windows services until the patch rolls out, most probably in the cumulative update rolling out next week. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.